Hello once again, I am Manuel, one of the producers of Easy German, which is part of Easy Languages. If you don't know what that is, go to easy-languages.org and you will find out. I will show you how to improve the audio of the project um, after the fact. So when you're already done with everything, basically you have your cut, uh, we are going to make the audio better. And this is something that you should pretty much always do. Um, anytime you have a speaker, several speakers, maybe mixed in with some music, um, what we're going to do here is going to improve the audio audio so just to give you an example this is my project right here i'm not quite done i still have to add some subtitles but the total length is already set and the audio is not going to change anymore so i can already um, start doing this so if we're gonna uh, take a look at this part right here she's gonna say something and then i'm gonna say something and you will notice that my voice is much um, much more quiet than hers because i'm further away from the mic. YOLO, ne? Ist ja, ist ja nicht mehr das Jugendwort des Jahres geworden, aber... Was heißt denn YOLO? YOLO? Yeah. You only live once. Okay, these are the kinds of things that happen in an interview and naturally you're going to have some um, separate levels. So this is just one of the things that we're going to fix um, by using a tool called Ophonic. So if you um, go to Ophonic.com uh, you will want to sign up for an account with them. It's totally free and this is what we're going to work with. Before we do, we need to export the sound of our project. You don't have to work with Final Cut. Uh, any, any editing software will allow you to do this. So in Final Cut, all I'm going to do is share. I already have a preset for this, um, but basically what we're going to do is export the audio, just the audio, not the video of your project and make sure you uh, pick an uncompressed file format. So uh, WAVE is fine or AIFF is fine. Just use something that's not compressed. Don't use MP3. All right, so we're going to export the file. And I have Ophonic and my Dropbox account linked to each other. So I'm going to um, export this straight to my Dropbox uh, folder. You don't have to do that, though. You can just export it to your hard drive and then pick it up from there later. So I'm gonna wait for this to be done exporting. And once your file is exported, you are gonna switch over to your browser and go to ophonic.com, log in with your account and start a new production. So start production for free, new production. And we're gonna pick the file. So you can either upload the file from your hard drive or my file is already in my Dropbox because I've linked the two accounts. Um, so this is the file that I want. Now, you could add an intro and outro. You could add metadata. This is important if you're producing a podcast, for example, extended metadata. These are all very useful things if you produce a podcast or something like that. In our case, we just want the rare file. Uh, you don't want to export as MP3. Once again, you want a lossless audio format so we don't lose any quality. So either WAVE is fine or I will use uh, ALAC. Uh, I want a stereo file, of course, and I'm going to add the suffix of phonic. So just, just so that I will uh, know that this is the, the version that Alphonic um, gave me. And now in the final section, we can see what it's actually going to do. So the first thing is the adaptive lever, the, uh, this leveler. This will um, level the differences between speakers, what we just saw. Also music, speech, it'll, it'll basically make everything the same level. The overall loudness, loudness will be the same. Then we will also normalize the loudness so that we have a, a, um, a normalized loudness and you can select a target. In our case, uh, I'm going to uh, pick this preset for mobile. So it'll also sound good on uh, mobile devices and on the internet. If we were producing this for television, uh, we would pick this one, for example, because this is the norm in Europe. But we're going to pick mobile. Filtering is also a, uh, a nice option. It's going to uh, filter some um, frequencies, low frequencies that, uh, that are disturbing and that aren't usually speech. Uh, by the way, 
um, or phonic recognizes or detects music and speech. So it's going to leave um, music untouched and just um, normalize music, but not but not change the levels. While speech will be uh, filtered and and uh, leveled. Uh, noise and hum reduction uh, I would only use if you have actual noise or hum in your video or in your sound that you can that you can hear. Uh, if you don't already have this, um, don't apply this because this will actually um, maybe worsen your quality a little bit. All right, and then we're gonna uh, click start production. You could save this as a template if you're um, using this a lot. I have my own presets also, uh, but for now we're gonna start production. And this is gonna uh, take a while now. So the file is gonna uh, be sent to their server. They're gonna do all the work for you. And then once it's done, um, they'll send you an email and you can download the file, or in my case, it'll be put in my Dropbox. So we'll just wait for that. All right, once Alphonic is done doing its magic, we can download the resulting file. And once we have that, we will add this to our editing software, in my case, Final Cut Pro, I'll just add it here. And there's the file. And I'm gonna add this to my project and mute the original audio. So I'm just going to select all original files and deselect the audio channels. Same for music because we now have a better version of this. So all the sound in the original is deselected and we have the one Ophonic track underneath. And let's check the same spot as earlier, see if it sounds any better. There we go. YOLO, ne? Is ya You only live once. Das ist so. And you should hear that this is a little bit better leveled, uh, that I'm a little bit better audible, and everything else should sound a little bit better too. So make sure to use Alphonic in your productions. If you have any questions, any comments, you can find me at manuel.io and you can drop me a message or subscribe or follow me on twitter or send me an email all right talk to you soon bye